Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my trophy slash achievement guide for training Escalated from Hitman 3. So for this trophy we need to complete level 5 of an Escalation contract set in the ICA facility, which is the training facility. So if you go over to destinations from the main menu, you'll see the ICA facility there. If you choose that and then go all the way over to the right hand side, you'll see the uh, Snor Anderson, <laughs> Snor Anderson, however you say that, Ascension. So if you choose that, this is the mission that we'll be using. So we need to get to level 5. I'm already set up with level 5 here. Uh, it starts at level 1, and every time you complete it, another stipulation will get added. So the first one that there is, is that you need to kill this uh, Silas guy, Netsuke, whatever his name is, uh, with a pistol while dressed as a Soviet soldier. Complete that. Then you'll need to also break into the safe and take the content. Complete that, and then you'll need to kill Moses with any anything. You can kill him anyway um, while dressed as an airplane mechanic. So you need to do all three of these so it will eventually stack up as you go up. And you need to complete level five. So that's all five of these. So you need to play this five times in total. Uh, and once you've killed Moses and done it the third time, you'll need to hide all dead bodies uh, within 90 seconds. So if you kill someone, you need to hide them away within 90 seconds of killing them. And then finally, the level five is that you're not allowed to pacify anyone. But that doesn't mean you can't kill them. You can still kill everybody, but you can't pacify anybody. So I'm not going to show all of the levels. I'm just going to show level five. You can obviously take off what you don't need to do as we go. So at the start here, the first thing we want to go is go over to the left-hand side and initiate the conversation with the two airplane mechanics here. So they start talking. We want them to move out of the way. So as soon as they start, you can carry on this way. So if you run over to the right-hand side, you're going to find the crowbar. We need this to open up the safe with. So you can see over here on the crates. So pick that up and uh, hide it away. Get used to hiding things away, especially guns, because when you change costumes, certain guns can't be, well, guns can't be carried by airplane mechanics. But at this point now, you can walk over, and they'll be ready to sort of split off at this point. There we go. They're going to start wandering away. So as you do that, walk over here, and you're going to find the coins in the bushes. You should already know about these if you've played this already. And then throw one over towards the crate. It will alert both the mechanic and the guard. Uh, that's fine. We just need the, the, the mechanical walk off. We just need the guard. Yeah, so we can't knock anybody out, so we do have to kill this guy. So shoot him, one shot, kill him. Take his uniform, so that's going to allow us to freely move around the base. Uh, yeah, try not to... <laughs> yeah, what we're trying to do is take his uniform and then put him into there, but I actually accidentally picked up a gun that was in the way. So yeah, dump him in there. You need to dump him in there within 90 seconds because he is dead. Again, you can't knock anybody out. So now you're just freely able to run through the base. Obviously watch for the ones with the white dots above the head. They will still recognise you even if you're in uniform. But for the most part you can just run through. So run through, run down to the right hand side here. And you're going to just time it so you see this guy will be walking towards this uh, container. So as he stops, shoot him. Because we need his un uniform to kill Moses. We need to be dressed as an aircraft engineer. So that's what we are now. So obviously you need to hide him. So there is a box conveniently placed here. Remember this box? This is where Silas, I, I'm calling him Silas, it's probably not pronounced that way. That's where he's going in the end. So put your gun away, obviously, before going up the stairs. And then run to the back office here. And you will have our first target, which is going to be Moses. He stood over by the window. And then the chess player, who's just going to be collateral damage. So take them both out quickly. Um, a guard from downstairs, downstairs may or may not have heard that and will come up. He does in this video, so that's good. So I can show you what to do if he does turn up. Uh, what you want to do is pick up the rifle. That is a definite. You don't want to leave it on the floor. And then drag the guard over into the same room and dump him as well. But before dumping him, you want to take his uniform. Because you do need to be dressed as a Russian soldier for killing Silas. So usually if uh, there's no disruption, just Silas or whatever you want to call him. He's going to come walking into this room alone. But, because sometimes it can happen, this guard will come up. He's from downstairs. Uh, he'll just have a look around and uh, walk off. That's the reason we picked up the rifle. We're going to strategically place this rifle so that Silas picks it up and goes and puts it away downstairs. Now, you can leave the rifle where it is, and he will still go and pick it up. 
but he may go off to the left hand side across the top floor and not go where we need him so if you put the rifle there it's going to force him to go and path the way we want him to go so all we need to do now is wait for him to go to the toilet or into the bathroom i've never actually checked what he's doing in there but it's it's long enough long enough for us to uh break open the safe on this back wall so as he walks away keep an eye on him he's going to walk into there and then we can freely just break this safe safe open with the uh, crowbar. Noise and all, doesn't matter. And then pick up the vodka. And that's that one done. All we've got to do now is kill this guy and um, hide him. That's the most important thing. Because we've already got two bodies in that one in the toilet. Uh, we can't hide him in there. He's not going to fit. So we need to take him downstairs and uh, we're going to put him in that same one where the air aircraft mechanic is. So follow him. He's going to notice that gun as he walks out. And then he's going to go and take it downstairs. And uh, But we need to interrupt him before he takes it to where he wants to take it to. So go downstairs ahead of him. And then hide underneath the stairs. Have your gun out ready. And you're going to want to aim it at him but not shoot straight away. You need to get him with one, just one shot. You don't want an extra shot because it's going to be noisy. So make sure he notices you when you stood here and then quickly shoot him in the head. And then uh, drag his body and put him in the container. And that's it. So if you do try and shoot and you miss the shot, you could potentially hit the wall and then it will alert guards. But if you shoot him square in the head, um, you'll be fine. No one will notice and you'll be a okay to just walk out so you're going to see there's an extra guard here i think this is the guard that comes up it might be that one it may not be the guard who came up who's not he doesn't always t turn up but if he does you know what to do now and uh, yeah it's just a case of getting out you can just freely run all the way to the exit and that is level five obviously take off what you don't need to do if you're not doing level five straight away level one you just need to go in dress as a soldier and kill silas and then just go from there and add what you need to add there you go, hit the button at the end and you will get the training escalated trophy if you're on level 5 of course. Come on, where are you? There you are. Right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.